what is up to all of my little unicorns new and old it's your girl west indy ray back again with another information filled video now today's video is super exciting because it is about skincare which i don't talk about as much as the other things on this channel the reason for that is because i typically develop a really good skincare routine that serves me well and I just use it over and over again. But when I do make a recommendation, you know it's for a reason. So of course, do all of your own research on these products. Make sure that they're good for your skin. So if you're like me and you have an event coming up, let's say a bachelorette party or like maybe a wedding, this is going to be just for you. If y'all would like to see my regular daily and nightly skin routines, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. If you'd like to see how I've been fading all my hyperpigmentation really, really quickly and making the overall appearance of my skin a lot more even, stay tuned to the rest of the video. So here's a look at what my skin is looking like right now. These are my problem areas that I always have hyperpigmentation in, but oddly enough, this product that I'm about to show y'all in this video, it's just been doing wonders on them. And it's crazy because the product itself claims to target clogged pores and acne. So I'm just brushing my teeth, scraping my tongue. If y'all know what that tool is, figure it out and order you one. And I'm also going to be using steam today on my face we always use distilled water i think it calls for like distilled or filtered water but y'all know i use distilled water on my hair so i have it on hand and i'm using the simple micellar facial gel wash this is something kind of new to my routine i would say but it works kind of fine. Um, I used a lot right there. I should not have used as much as I used. It's a really good non-irritating cleanser to use during the daytime when my skin routine is a lot more gentle. I go in with that and I always double wash my face at least sometimes even triple wash if I've been wearing makeup. You see me vigorously massaging my face, but I'm telling you guys, this felt so good it probably seems like i'm like speeding through this but it just felt so good but this is how healthy the skin is looking after the wash now i'm gonna go ahead and dab my face clean and show you guys what that looks like what the natural skin looks like with absolutely nothing on it and then i'm going with the star of the show the peach and lily super reboot resurfacing mask this mask is like a jelly it's kind of odd and it's not the easiest to apply either but i really like it you know and i always separate my mask into another container when i'm able to because you don't want to be dipping in to that container over and over again to get more product and spreading germs so I just went ahead and applied that everywhere. You're gonna set your timer for 15 minutes. It calls for 15 to 20, but 15 minutes is enough for me after I apply, and this is what it looks like. And because it does not take me five whole minutes to apply this product, I'm not putting myself at risk when it comes to overprocessing my skin. Which brings me to my next product that I wanna recommend. If you are a person who has more sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend this First Aid Beauty Resurfacing Liquid. It's 10% AHA, and you can find it at Ulta Beauty. This product was actually recommended to me by the esthetician over there at Ulta Beauty. She was a black woman, so she understands our skin. The reason why this product was recommended is because it pretty much does the same thing, just at a lower strength. Even though this product is not as strong as the Peach and Lily one, this can also cause sun damage, so you do have to still wear sunscreen with it. But this is a product that you can use every day as opposed to the Peach and Lily one. And it comes in this cute little dropper bottle. It has a button on top to grab the product, and then to push it out, you just press like that. So it's very functional, and I'll probably go back to using this after I take care of my skin in the time that it needs to be taken care of, you know what I'm saying? I really just love First Aid Beauty products in general. Their face cleanser, which I have right here, is my all-time favorite face cleanser. I actually use this at night in my more extensive routine. My everyday skincare routine is very light in the morning and it leaves my skin feeling fresh and clean and protected. In my regular nighttime routine, although it's pretty gentle, it is a lot more intense than the daytime routine because at night is when you apply your actives. Sometimes when you use things like exfoliants and then go right into the sun, it can cause sun damage. So I apply all of my actives at night all the time. And I can definitely do a video on my regular skincare routine so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Cause if I do say so myself, my skincare routine is actually bomb. So my 15 minutes is up. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face off and do one more lather of this. 
So this is what my face looks like once it's all dry. Next, I'm going in with my Thayer's Blemish Clearing Toner and a reusable cotton round. These are made of bamboo and I really like them because it's just less waste, less buying things just to throw them away. And I've been using Thayer's for a really long time and they've never failed me. So you're just gonna go ahead and I like to sweep in upward motions. So make sure you get your whole face with that before moving on to the next step which is going to be moisturization. Now I'm using the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty, which is one of my favorite things on the planet. Please look at this texture, you guys. A little bit goes a really long way. I am constantly falling victim to overusing this product. Please do not be like me. This stuff is just so amazing though, and it leaves your face feeling very moisturized, not heavy at all, it's perfect. So next, I'm moving on with the color science. This is SPF 50, and I actually had this recommendation from Dr. V on YouTube. She is a dermatologist that specializes in melanated skin, and I just really, really have had good luck with the things that she recommends. So I go ahead and I pat that into my face as well, and that is really the end of it. If you're wondering why I'm applying it like this, it's because this kind of has that, it's like a dry feeling, but it's also, it's kind of dry, like powdery. I don't know how to describe the texture, but I feel like a lot of sunscreens have it, but I just feel like it spreads the best when I just tap on my face rather than trying to drag it. And I find that it gets applied very well and evenly that way. What the Peach and Lily product actually does is that it accelerates the turnover rate of your skin cells. For me, typically, I find that within the next week or so, my skin is gonna look a lot better. It already feels a lot smoother, and then the dark marks kind of just disappear. So this is the finished product of the day. My skin feels nice and soft and moisturized. It feels good, light. I'm not even gonna lie, on most days, I just leave my skin like this and maybe do a little bit of eyebrows. As y'all can see, I'll be plucking out the end of this eyebrow because it goes down instead of up. That's one of the stories you have. Keep in mind that SPF does have to get reapplied throughout your day. If you're spending a full day outside, you might want to like take this with you or try one of their other products. They do have powders and stuff that are SPF protected just so that you won't damage your skin. I know there are a lot of different opinions when it comes to wearing SPF and things like that, but when you're going out of the way, to do a treatment on your skin, you kind of just, it kind of comes with the territory. So definitely don't forget to wear your sunscreen. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a little unicorn in the comment section below. And also let me know if you would like me to do a full skincare routine where I show you what I do in the daytime and my skincare routine for the night. I just appreciate you guys being here so much and spending time with me. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there and I'll see you in the next video.